<laughs> got this awesome microphone for those podcasts that we're going to be doing once a month. And I figured I need to make better use of this thing and not just use it once a month because that's going to get ridiculous. Why have this awesome mic and only use it once a month, right? It's got great audio. I got to use it. I got to do it. So as I mentioned in the title, we are going to be discussing why I don't make snake videos anymore. think that <laughs> I, my own personal joke to myself is the fact that I'm putting lots of snakes and making this actually a snake video and you, you get it. I think most of you get it. I like to make jokes. Today's video at the very end of it, there's a very, very important message that I have to bring to you guys. So please stick around to listen to that. It, it is quite important. <laughs> why I don't make snake videos goes way back to triple B TV. When I, when I first started YouTube, I was making nothing but snake videos, snake care videos and snake unboxing videos. It was all snake stuff, snake information, snake knowledge. And there's so many other channels out there that you can find that type of information on that. I just shied away from it. I was like, I don't, I don't need to do, Oh, Hey, what's going on there? Noah Sage. Hey, why, why don't you jump in here? But I didn't even know you're going to be part of this video. Noah's been sick, but here he is. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Aquamarine. What about aquamarine? That it's my birthstone, and when it's unpolished, it's sort of white. And um, when it's polished, it's like a bl lightish, bluish, turquoise. -ish. It is very cool for me because um. It's my birthstone, and that's why it's very cool. And it's, when it's polished, it looks like a blue diamond. And that's all I know. Thanks, bud. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noah Sage. I wasn't planning on doing any What Do You Know today, but I guess we're doing it anyway. We, we made it happen. <laughs> So what I was saying, there was so many videos out there, I felt like I, I didn't need to make them. There's plenty of other places to do it. And I started doing interviews and, and whatnot that, and just making other content. And then I started the vlog channel here, which started to turn into like all kinds of... Is this paradise? I think so, bud. So as the channel became more and more, especially this vlog channel, became just more about my life and, and my feelings on stuff, which I have been enjoying myself more than anything else is just putting out whatever is exactly going on in my life and not just focusing on a, on a certain thing. It also makes it hard to stay consistent with content, which is one of the big things that I always taught at all kinds of other people who want to start YouTube channels and is a big deal on YouTube is staying consistent, not just with uploading videos, but with your content in general. And, I, and I've really done a really bad job of that, I think. But I've been really happy with the content I'm putting out. It's less important to me to try and fit myself into a box that I think will reach a, a mass audience than it is to just make the content that that I feel the most. And that leads to the inconsistency, but it's also what I'm doing and what I feel. And I've talked about this a lot recently, but I, I, it's it hasn't changed. And Maybe it will change someday, but you know, for now, I'm just putting out the content that I, that I really feel. laughing to myself that I made a video called why I don't make snake videos and there's like nothing but snakes being shown trying to keep those indigo tables on the table by the way 
virtually impossible. I, it was, I tried to let them calm down and sit there and then they just, it wasn't happening. So I, I got the shot that I could and then just, I just let them run away. Speaking of indigo videos and not making snake videos anymore, I think the next video that I make is actually going to be a, a care video on indigo snakes since I, I've learned a bit from keeping them and also learned a bunch from the breeder Robert Bruce who made them. I think I'll do another care video here since um, I don't think there's really too many of those out there actually. It's indigo snake care videos. I'll have to look and see. Here's a fun surprise. So these leopard gecko eggs were laid just the other day. When we got back, they were they were sitting there in, in the leco, leopard gecko enclosure, and there they are. A couple of leopard gecko eggs. I don't know if they're going to make it or not, but those leopard geckos that, that Brandon brought over recently that you guys saw, that the female laid some more eggs. So I, I understand she'll probably lay some more even as, as we go on. So put them in there. The, the room stays at a nice 80 degrees, so hopefully uh, we'll see some females. <laughs> A couple other updates while I've got you guys here. Hillary is still dealing with her anxiety stuff. It's not been as bad. Um, she is taking the month off work. Thankfully, I didn't have to push and prod her too hard to do that. She decided that was a good idea. So she's taking, taking the time off work. Noah, as I mentioned, is sick, but obviously feeling better to come down here and interrupt my videos. Eli's doing good. My mom and dad actually just got here upstairs. So I'm gonna go hang out with them in a minute. But um, also Pomona is coming right up and I'm hoping to see lots of you guys there. If you're coming, I will have a booth. Come out and hang out with me. Let's let's make a video together. We'll we'll talk about stuff and or not. I don't know. We'll see. I know there's some really cool things that are going to be happening at Pomona. Some something really cool that I will definitely share with all you guys on video once we're there. Something that I think is extremely cool actually. Also regarding that anxiety video, there were so many people that reached out to me that came forward with the uh, that they were dealing with anxiety themselves. More people than I could have ever imagined people that i know lots of people that i know and i've almost started to feel like i'm counseling people a little bit which is not something i want to do and not something i'm qualified to do at all so i mean i i can help how much i can and where i can but i'm i'm not qualified for that at all um and just oh man yeah it's it, it seems like everybody i know is really starting to go through it including ourselves you know that i i couldn't we're struggling a bit ourselves, but but everybody's struggles, everybody's struggles seemed inconsequential or just didn't seem as important or problematic as uh, what happened with my buddy Scott last night. Um, Scott was here for Carpet Fest, great dude, one of the, the one of the greatest people I've ever met. I just as far as how much how selfless he is, he takes care of his his father at home. He used to be an officer at FDC, which is a place I've spent time as well. <laughs> Not on the same side that Scott was, but but he got injured there on, on the job. And so he deals with his, with his own injuries and taking care of his father. And then last night, his 32-year-old son uh, passed away, had a heart attack in Hawaii. And he immediately, as soon as he heard the situation, jumped on a plane and uh, flew out there as fast as he could. But he, unfortunately, he didn't make it in time. And... Uh, so his, his son passed away before he could get there. And so that's the important message that I wanted to talk about um, at the end of this video today. There is a GoFundMe that my buddy Enrico has started and I'm going to put the link down in the description. Whatever you guys are able to contribute to help Scott just with uh, you know the expenses that come with having to travel out there on last minute notice and then deal with all the things that he's going to be dealing with going forward with his son. Um, I'm sure he will greatly appreciate and I will greatly appreciate as well. Um, anybody that is able to help in that situation. I can't imagine um, what Scott's going through right now. I, I feel like probably um, the, one of the worst things you could do in this world is have to outlive one of your children. So uh, if there's one reason that I would want my channel to grow bigger is so that I can always have bigger outreach to help people that are in, in need like this um, and just to help help more people, help more people. Um, spread the idea that we're all in this together and the more we help each other out the, the better off we'll all be so uh, 
with that, I think I'm, I'm going to go upstairs and hang out with my own children. And Scott, I love you, man. Uh, if you're watching, we're going to get through this together. We've got, you've got support from a lot of us and uh, everything is going to be okay, man. So, guys, hug your loved ones tight. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other.